things. Halloween. <laughs> this is Hauntformer, and welcome back, maybe, to my continued discussion on HauntCon, or the Halloween and Party Expo for 2023. If you missed it, last time we talked about the Morris Costumes booth. Well, half of it. Today we're going to complete the circle. But we talked about the Seasonal Visions animatronics. And today, we're going to be talking about my favorite purveyor of Halloween goodness, Distortions Unlimited. Yes, I've talked about Distortions a lot on this channel. And for good reason. They make some of the best, scariest, spookiest stuff that your money can buy for Halloween. And this year, they have a really interesting lineup of characters. I'm very excited to talk about it. It's not as huge or expansive as previous years, but I will say that each of these characters is a really solid design, a really solid prop, and worth the value for a Distortions quality piece. So, with that said, let's talk about Distortions. Up first, London After Midnight. This is a character that we first saw back in December, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, pretty early for a Distortions release. This character is based upon the lost media, the lost film from the 1920s, London After Midnight, which featured Lon Chaney Sr., not Junior the Wolfman, Sr., the Phantom of the Opera, in this crazy role where he was basically a murderer that would strike the streets of London after midnight, hence the title of the film. Yeah, you figured that out. The design was so popular that it was actually an inspiration for the Joker, and it continues to be an inspiration to this day, though unfortunately doesn't exist anymore. Likewise with The Man Who Laughs, which is another era film that sadly is mostly lost to time. However, it's been brought back by the kind folks at Distortions who have created this fantastic character right down to every detail, including the face, the cape, the top hat, the lantern. It's all here. How fantastic is it? And for around 500 smackeroonies, I think this is a pretty good value. You could put this guy alongside the Edgar Allan Poe, the Frankenstein monster legend character, and many of their other monster legends. And to me, he would fit right in. He's really cool, very creative, and a very different kind of character that we don't ordinarily see in the Halloween prop world. I love it, and I love the homage to the classic monsters, because without those universal monsters, Frankenstein, Dracula, the Wolfman, even the weird ones like the Mole People or the Metaluna Mutant, we would not have the monsters that we have today. So my hat's off to you, Distortions. Let's talk about the next character. Up next is actually a character we've kind of seen before. This is the Mutant, though not the animatronic Frightronic mutant from last season. This is a new mutant, a much more affordable, static version of the character, and boy oh boy, does he look just as good. This guy is so cool. I know a lot of people loved the mutant from last year, but I realized that for an amateur haunter, spending around three grand on this character would be hard to do. But again, for around 500 bucks, you can get the mutant as a static and basically have the same presence. You won't have the crazy thrashing, which is where that value comes from. However, you will have the fantastic sculpt that this character is and a really different design. Whenever I think of a mutant or an alien kind of creature, this is not something that comes to mind, but I think it's fresh and different, and it's going to be pretty popular with a lot of haunters. Let's talk about the haunted tree. The dead tree, the haunted tree, whatever you want to call it. This is an over 10 foot tall prop. It lights up, it has placements for uh, customization, you can add things to it. Of course, uh, Ed threw in creepy cloth with a lot of these characters. So you can customize it at will. This thing is huge. You can pose it. It is a giant tree. 
and the sculpt is fantastic it looks like a real tree it looks really sturdy too the arms click in very solid the base clicks in very solid overall a very solid quality piece again from distortions unlimited i love it uh, and i love the presence of it this looks like something that would be on distortions higher end list but this is a prop that's around 700 dollars which may be a lot to some haunters but for a more professional grade haunter, that's a steal. And I could see people getting several of these to make a creepy forest display. That would be cool. But finally, last and certainly not least, a prop that I didn't think I'd love as much as I do. A witch? Yeah. You know me, I'm not crazy about witches. I think they're usually cutesy and more favor the Wizard of Oz than they do an actual horror scope. However, the pumpkin witch here is my favorite out of all of these characters. Why? I just think it's so cool and unique. What I love about it is how it's a witch, but she's like a part gourd on the head. And you can tell that she's not completely human she may be a fantastical monster maybe more of a mutant but regardless you can create the story behind this character i love it and i think it may be my favorite witch prop that i've seen and that's impressive witches have this great element and aura to them where they can introduce magic and fantasy into what normally is a very stark or bleak horror scope and because of that this character really adds to that realm of possibilities it's magical it's fantastical yet it's grounded because you know this is some kind of creepy old woman i dig it i love the pumpkin witch i think it's my favorite of distortions for 2023 but what was yours hmm yeah why don't you leave a comment down below let me know and I'll see you in the next installment of the Halloween and Party Expo video series. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And remember, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.